Hello, everybody. We're back with Better at Business. We are in the marketing function. We have covered product, price. We're now going to be looking at place, which forms part of our marketing mix. The place we're going to be looking at is wholesaler, retail, intensively, selectively, and exclusively. Those are the key words we're going to be covering in today's section. The place part of the marketing mix is where your consumers buy your product or where they discover it. So there are various options for a manufacturer. They can sell directly to the consumer where you're going to a factory shop. They could also sell manufacture, for example, clover with cheeses and yolk, yogurts and milk. They sell to checkers. Checkers then sells to the consumer. That is called retailer. Or you have the wholesaler option where your manufacturer is selling to the wholesaler. Wholesaler sells to retailer. Retailer then to the consumer. So your spas are stores. A lot of spas are stores will buy from wholesale stores. And tuck shops, for example. They won't get it directly from the manufacturer. You don't order enough. You know, you've got to have a limited, um, there's a order quantity that you've got to be able to order in order for a manufacturer to deliver directly to you. The tuck shop would then get from macro and then sell through to the consumer. The other option of selling is online. Great. So with regards to place, you need to remember two things. Place is all about convenience for the consumer. So you need to ensure that you have enough product for the consumer that when they go to your shop, you there is convenience for them. They're able to, to shop down the aisles and get everything that they want. The outlet also needs to be conveniently situated. So location is extremely important for a retail store. You've got to think about things like parking. You know, is there enough parking? What is the window? Are we going to be putting um, displays in our windows so that we attract customers' attention when they walk past to say, oh, I want that dress. Let me go in and go buy it. So that's all part of place. There are different options available to a manufacturer when it comes to how the retail stores will sell the product. So products like bread, milk, Coca-Cola, chocolate bars, chips, they will be intensively distributed. What does it mean? It's intense. It's everywhere. You want to make sure that those products are in every single outlet, petrol stations, tuck shops, garage shops, spaza shops, supermarkets, you name it. They must, it's got to be intense. You want them everywhere. The next option is selectively distributed, and it goes without saying. You are being selective in where you are going to be marketing and putting your products. So, for example, in the Checkers Fresh X stores, the special delis, those meats will come from a farm in Midlands, for example, and the cheeses will come from a dairy farm in the Midlands because you are all special and deli, and it's all specialized and selective. So... That would be selectively distributed. In the same vein, you know, we've got our Woolies food stores. You don't find Woolies clothing in every Woolies food store. So Woolies clothing is selectively distributed in certain stores to ensure that there is going to be a return on investment. The last way in which a manufacturer could sell their product is exclusively distributed. So this is exclusive, very, very specialized. If Le Crusette was selling um, products in checkers in one corner, that would be exclusively distributed and only in one store per region. You know, that could be an exclusive distribution. So exclusive distributed is your jewelry or um, paintings and it's very, very specialized. You go specifically to a gallery. You go specifically to a, a, a beautiful jewelry store to buy this product. Right, grade 12s. That is Better at Business. We have just covered place. The next chapter or the next section is going to be on promotion, which is the fourth P that we're going to be covering. All the very best. Keep well.